I'm gonna hang up, okay? No, don't hang up on me, Chris. Why? Just stay talking to me. I wanna hang up, no, oh, Chris, please. don't hang up on me. Just stay on the line with me. I don't me. wanna be alive, but I'm gonna go to prison forever. I don't wanna stay on the line with me. Don't hang up. In 2009, 22-year-old Christopher Raines called 911 to report that he had shot his daughter in the back of the head point blank. Chris explained that the newborn's mother no longer wanted to be with him, and that he couldn't picture her dating another man. Thus, he took his revenge in the form of shooting their infant child. Considering the nature and severity of the crime, the couple's baby's life was not able to be saved. Although throughout the call, Chris can be heard threatening to take his own life because, in his words, he cannot and will not go to prison, he nonetheless ends up too cowardly to kill himself, and instead, when the police arrived, he is placed under arrest. The couple had been arguing back and forth via text all day long. When or why Chris came to 18-year-old Ashley's apartment or why in the world she ever let the madman in is unclear, but it was as they were arguing that Chris pulled out a 45 and put it to his baby daughter's head. According to the mother, Ashley, this was not the first time. Things would be different this time, however. This time, Chris pulled the trigger. Believing that Ashley had been seeing another man, at that point, Chris reportedly asked her, was it worth it? Chris would eventually enter a plea of guilty for his crime. However, many would be shocked to learn that this plea was not for the first-degree murder charge he was initially facing, but rather for a charge of child abuse resulting in death. Chris Raines was sentenced to 36 years, meaning that should he make it to his 50s, he will one day be set free. As perhaps expected, Raines' life in prison has not been easy. Child abusers, child predators, and child killers like himself aren't welcomed even by the prison community. What follows is a video that shows an attempted attack on Chris by a fellow inmate. Although guards were quickly able to stop the assault and Chris was not injured, it was enough to lead the decision to keep Chris separated from other would-be attackers. Now, if only his daughter had been so lucky. After today's court hearing, Reigns was attacked by another inmate. And we have the video of it. Yeah, that's right, guys. A very brief attack against the man, Christopher Reigns, accused of killing his own baby daughter. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the video that we just got from the jail's security camera system. Reigns is standing towards the front of the, the, the jail system here with his back towards the camera. All of a sudden, inmate Eric Salazar attacks him from behind. Within seconds, corrections officers separate the two men, as you can see here. Reigns, we're told, was not hurt, but because of the seriousness of his charges, the fact that he's accused of killing his own baby daughter, he has to be separated from other angry inmates.